eBay, but not auctions for artists and people that make stuff and antiques and it, it's amazing it's huge look at it if you've never looked at it anything that you can think of so if you know somebody that loves cashmere and pomeranians hmm, i'm going to the person who on this one i guess so let's say cashmere pomeranians and feathers and this one happens to be a blue jay feather that i found wait can you see it cool right wait I got a blue jay I think this one is a crow they got some rock doves I wish I had a feather from the eagle that came to me in the creek this summer he didn't leave me a feather he did leave me a video but I think it's lost in Facebook land too okay so um I've got this mold let me show you from SD and uh, it's to do a resin and it's for to make a toilet seat because I didn't find anything I liked so I figured I'd just make my own but I've been toying with it and haven't gotten to it so I'm just gonna put something in it and go rather than think about it so much so let's see what I put in here I cut up a bunch of fake flowers most of these are from the dollar store actually they're kind of cool they're like <laughs> rubber Oh, my nails don't look good anymore. That's what happens when you bartend. Okay. I put some buttons. <laughs> I put some... Well, this is tourmaline, so we can ground ourselves while we take a dump. <laughs> There's a seashell my friend got me from the beach. I have some moonstone. Ha 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 ha! Because you'll be mooning the sea as you sit in it. Or at least you guys will learn my humor. At least I entertain myself. Okay, oh, there's selenite. This is uh, onyx. It's broken from a piece of jewelry I did not make, so we're gonna put that in there. And then, look at this awesome quartz. This one has been dyed, it's called titanium. It's totally been messed with with heat a little bit, but it's still pretty and it's still real. And this is, what is this? This is my friend gave me from Australia. And I can't remember what kind of stone it is. Sandy, what kind of stone is this? What is this, Sandy? Sandy from Australia. She's awesome. Okay. All right, what are we doing? Got some other thing. Okay, so you see everything, there's some just random stuff. Now, I figured the top of the toilet seat is, I mean, it can go down, but I think mostly it's going to be up. So I put some facing the one way and some facing the other way. And I think when I put the resin in, it's going to move all around. So let's just go with what happens. All right, let me set you down and get to work here. Hold on. I don't know if this can be seen very well. Let's try. That's okay. Oh, I do have these feather earrings. Now, I did not find these feathers, by the way. I look like a little pixie today. Except for this. Then I look like a pixie with the pigtails. Pixie pigtails. Okay. All right. Um, most of these feathers, these are beautiful feathers. Look at how they, look at how these hang. They blow in the wind. All right, so these I got, oh, my nails are bad too. Don't look at those. That comes with bartending. Bad. All right, so this most of the, some of these i found feathers find me or i find feathers somehow and uh um some of these i got from my father's fly fishing kit so i didn't find all of them but they're still gorgeous okay, okay so we're gonna use resin did i bring it out <laughs> i didn't even bring it out hold on okay i'm back totally forgot not prepared at all. Okay. This is clear polyester class casting resin. Uh, ah, cast and craft. It, it comes with like a catalyst. Um, I probably should measure it better. I've done it a bunch of times with organite. If you don't know what organite is, it can change the world. We'll get into another video, but look up organite. 
and Wilhelm Reich. Great. So back to the resin. This is a big toilet seat, so we need a lot of resin. I've never done a toilet seat cover. This could be a complete mess up. Oh man, now I gotta open this shit. Okay, I'll be back. I went and got myself my happy light so my eye bags don't look as bad. <laughs> I guess I should tell you what the happy light is. It's this awesome light that you get so if you wear exchange hours and your sleep patterns off, your body and your rhythm and everything get all messed up. So what that does is opens up the cones in your eyes so that you can see the entire light spectrum, which is usually lost when you're, oh my God, all these people going by the road, it has, uh, I do not know what I am doing. They already think I'm like the weirdest person on the mountain. <laughs> okay, all right, oh dear Lord. All right, so let me open this as I do this. So the happy light, to educate you guys, it opens up the cones of the spectrum of light in your eyeballs. So you were, it's more like being out in the sun. I should have gotten something better than this knife. Do not judge me on the way I do this. <laughs> I should talk a little bit about judgment later. That's definitely a video I want to do. For those people walking around thinking negative things about other people in their heads as they go, you need to get out of that fucked up pattern. If you find yourself doing that to other people, you need to turn the spectrum back on yourself a little bit. So let's go there as I open this up. I'll get personal if you want. Years ago, <laughs> I was walking in New York City and this particular summer, these shirts that were in style were sort of like cowl neck, so kind of like this for you boys that don't know what that is. It kind of just like hangs with a bunch of material here and hung, hung, hung. And then it was open in the back, so you couldn't really wear a bra. At least it wasn't really the right kind available then, so I didn't. And I could remember from the outside, I don't have the biggest boobs ever. You know, they're, they're proportionately okay. I'm good with my boobs. But... <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can see if I had like, you know, size Eden knockers. So I'm like, boom, 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 going down the street. I don't have a bra. Like, that must hurt, first of all. But, but oh, they're pretty perky. And I remember going down like the upper west side of New York and I just tried to go to the store and I could hear this girl go past me and under her breath, she was like, oh, wear a bra. Or like, and it pissed me the fuck off. I should not swear on this. I'm gonna be in trouble. But yes, like I remember walking down the street and I was pissed. Like, bitch, what the fuck are you to judge? And in my head, I'm like, ah. So, you know, I wasn't. I didn't like that she was so judgmental. And then I started to notice that sometimes I did that. You know, that I would be walking down the street and I'd see a girl coming from the gym and she'd have a camel toe. And I'd be like. Oh dear God, don't walk down the street with the cat. What is wrong with you? Like, check that shit. But, you know, you can't go around judging other people. I mean, part, I don't know, I don't know how much, I probably have to use a lot of this. This is a lot of resin. This is the only thing that's super expensive, by the way. Should I talk about what I'm doing or just tell my story? I don't know. This is resin. I'm putting it in. I'm adding the catalyst. I'm not exactly sure how much. The amount that you put in the drops makes a difference on how, like, clear and hard it is. <laughs> like, if you're doing a little tiny piece of jewelry, it's different than a big thing. Okay. So, back to my story. So, part of getting over not giving a shit what people think is dealing with them from a sober perspective, since I don't drink, well, they're all drunk, because then you just start to think everybody's kind of stupid all the time, doesn't know what they're thinking, won't remember it tomorrow anyway, so why would you care what they think? Doesn't make a difference in who you are, 
No, it doesn't. It just shows who they are. So, but, all right, beyond that. So this is a little bit deeper. So this was a big, this is like something that changes literally like the patterns of the thinking of your head. It's take, oh shit. All right. I am not prepared at all. So we're going to use this because we can't really use metal to mix this. Okay, we're just going to go. I got that dollar store. It doesn't really matter much. Let's mix. All right. I'm going to probably have to add more of this shit. Hold on. I forget how much this is. All right, so now that's kind of a shitty way to be. Like, who wants to be that person? Like, ugh, would she do that? You know, like, I've been, I've had a video where I have this one shirt, and it's like an undershirt, and I cut holes at the end, so when I twirl with the baton, I can still, like, be covered a little bit, and it's just an undershirt, but it's really comfortable, and it's ripped, and I don't, oh, I lost my freaking thing. Okay, we're not going to mix with that now, are we? Fudge sickles. We'll mix with this. Let's talk and mix. Let's prove the multitasking thing, shall we? Okay, so, yeah, so anyways, you know, I'm wearing that shirt. Sometimes, like, I'm doing something, I'm running at work, and I don't really care. You know, if I'm working, I'm going to get shit all over me anyway. So, I've had people come in and very passive-aggressively where, are you that drunk that you don't understand that I know that you're just being passive-aggressive, or do you really have problems where they've been, girls in particular, have looked at me and been like, I love your shirt. With like a straight ass face. Meanwhile, I have like stains all over the hands, my things. It's ripped here. It looks like I had it on for four days. <laughs> like, oh, thanks. Which part do you like the best? Do you like the stains that are around this collar or the holes that I tore in the sides of it? Is that your favorite part? <laughs> so, all right, I'm not gonna tell you how I, how I, change that. I will not say what I did about that solution. <laughs> I totally, all right, should I tell you what I did? Nah, let's not. I'll save that for later. Um, so back to the thoughts you think in your head. So, you know, I'm just understanding at this point that I know this is her issue with me and I don't give a shit what she thinks and I love my shirt anyway. And, you know, I can see that it's coming from a place where she was probably insecure, you know, and her means of power was maybe to lash out and have it be smart in her head, at least. Um, maybe she's around a lot of drunk people all the time and they don't know the difference, but um, it's not a really good, it's not a good way to be. You don't want to be that person judging others. Who the fuck are you to judge anybody else? We have our own, I mean, everyone has so, so much of their own shit they need to think about. Be conscious of you and what you do and how you react and what you think and you take a situation, how you can change. Not what somebody else thinks of you. That shouldn't make, a, what someone else's projection upon you is, shouldn't make a difference on who you are. It shouldn't, who you are shouldn't change regardless of what's coming at you. Let them think whatever they want. I like to say, whatever anybody thinks of you is none of my business. Is that, is, did I say that right? What anybody thinks of me is none of my business. It's not. It's not any of my business. Uh, well, why should I care? That's their business. Let them deal with that. And maybe eventually in their lives they'll see that what they're projecting out upon their judgments of others is really just a reflection of the biggest things they're going through in themselves. And we all have it. All right, so what you can do to get over that. So I started to know this when I was being a bitch in my head. Should I stop this? We're at 15 minutes. Let's stop it and do a part two.